Hello my sweets, welcome back. Today we'll be making daddy's birthday dinner. He loves peanut butter soup, so that's what we'll be making. And he also loves when I add fish to it. So today I'm using some bronzino or bronzini fish and I added some all-purpose seasoning salt and our spice blend. I tossed everything together. I'm gonna stir everything and off camera i got my fingers into it to ensure that every part of the fish is well seasoned we'll cover it up and set it aside to marinate beautifully i also had some meat in water soaking so that some of the blood can come out they say it is not blood but as long as i'm seeing red i want to get as much of it out as possible my hubby really doesn't want to be eating meat that much anymore so yes i try my best to get as much blood out as possible we'll then transfer it into our cooking pot you may use any meat of your choice i am using the chuck neck bones it's my favorite i added some tribe and now i'm adding in some all-purpose seasoning and salt also our spice blend and some chopped onion i'll leave a link to how i make the spice blend in the description box so in case you're wondering you can check check it out but my OGs on here already know what that is it makes our lives easy in the kitchen we'll stir everything together cover it up and allow it steam in its own juices i got a question if you can steam meat for soup without adding in tomato paste so as you can see we're making this without tomato paste it will work perfectly and we allowed it steam for about 10 minutes and we just added in some parboiled cow foot it is optional but it tastes really good in peanut butter or ground nut soups okay i'll stir everything together and allow it steam for an additional five minutes at this point i'll add in some vegetables while i go ahead to dissolve our peanut butter okay and here we have about a cup of peanut butter i'll add in some hot water another question if you do not have a blender to dissolve your peanut butter how can you do it you can do it with a whisk or a spoon with some hot water i prefer the whisk because it does it beautifully and quickly and using hot water is the way to go but when using hot water you know you can't put your fingers in so there you have it it is nice and ready so we'll set it aside and go check on our meat back to our meat and veggies as you can see our tomatoes are looking good it's cracking meaning it is almost fully cooked so i'll get it out because i don't want to stir the meat and tear the vegetables apart so once i've gotten it out i'll give the meat a good stir to ensure that it is not burning and also that our stock have thickened beautifully meaning our meat will taste good even after we've added some water ensure that the steaming process is always the saltiest part of your cooking process at this point we add our dissolved peanut butter and enough water to cook our soup here in this house we love our soups light if if you do not like your soup as light as mine add less water but trust me when i tell you it tastes good that way and by the next day it'll get even thicker and so i don't make my soups thick the first day we'll then cover it up and allow it cook for about 10 minutes or until our veggies are well cooked get it out blend it and add it back into our soup we'll then rinse out the blender add that water and then bring it back to a boil once it boils 
we'll lower the heat and allow it simmer and cook for about 20 minutes or until oil begins to settle on top of it, which means our soup is done or almost done. Meanwhile, we'll be frying our fish. Sprinkling some flour into your oil helps the fish not to stick together. It is totally optional, but I like to do that. I added some onions and celery to give it an amazing flavor. You may add anything you like, any flavor any herb or spice okay to your fish frying process but onions are always my top choice i had the celery it would begin to go bad so i said why not and surprisingly it gave the fish an amazing flavor you can also coat the fish in flour before frying it i love to coat it in flour especially for making peanut butter soup but we would be enjoying the fish also with some kinky so i did it this way so as you see right here i'm coating it in flour so the two would have a slightly different texture the flour to me helps the fish to soak up a lot of the soup which makes it taste super delicious just the way my husband likes it and this soup is for him so we have to make it the way he likes it and there you have it it is ready back to our soup it is also done you can see how much it has cooked down oil has settled on top of it so at this point we would add in our fish once we add in the fish we bring it back to a boil that is it you turn the fire off by the time you make your rice balls or fufu or whatever the fish have soaked the soup i'm telling you fish in peanut butter or ground nut soup is so delicious the way it soaks up the soup you would eat and eat and eat even if you're portion controlling okay and there you have it our soup is ready now all that is left is for us to serve and enjoy. All are invited to enjoy this birthday dinner with us. If you've enjoyed me until now, I do wanna thank you so very much. Why not let me know where you're watching from and I'll give you a special too in our next recipe. Until I see you in the next one, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke onamini ochemi suite mahabutu. Bye y'all. Sending money any other way, Tap Tap Send is the way to go. Download it today and use our short code Sweet Team to get a fifteen dollar bonus when you send your first. 50. So the person you're sending it to gets to get an extra $15 on us.